Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the LCC Sanctus, which was just released with the Halloween DLC, but it was originally released with the Bikers DLC, um, but it came into <laughs> our lives last year at Halloween. It was like the Halloween special vehicle, and then it went away for a year, and now it's Halloween, well, just gone Halloween. They brought it back, but I don't think it's a limited time vehicle now i think you can buy it all year round i think the rockstar have made it available all year round now so they're not going to take it away i'm pretty sure that this is here to stay so as you can see the lcc sanctus is going to cost you 1.9 almost one or almost two million dollars man so it's not cheap it's very very expensive for a motorcycle but if you look at it it is fucking impressive too it is very unique uh, you can see with the skull as the headlights and they do light up red you can change it But you've got red headlights man this fucking thing look mean especially at night time But anyway guys, we're going to get this purchase We're going to get it into my garage and then we're going to take it to the LS customs and see what sort of customizations We can do to this motorcycle So you get my dudes as you pull into LS customs obviously the LCC Sanctus is in the motorcycles category so first things first, once you get in here, we're going to grab the 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bodywork, mud guards. So yeah, at the moment, we've got that very unique kind of webbed mud guard. And this is just going to change it up. Um, but I'm not going to go with any of these sorts of mud guards because it kind of takes away the uniqueness of it. So um, just to show the options, but we're going to stay stock for the mud guard. For the rear mud guard, it's going to do exactly the same thing, as you can see. Um, you know they're quite nice if you want you know that sort of look but if you're going to buy the sanctus if you're going to spend nearly two million dollars on a motorcycle especially one like this you got to keep it unique as fuck so uh yeah i'm going to stay stock with the with both front and rear mud guards as you can see they look fucking sweet uh then we go on to the fuel tank and again the same goes where it changes the fuel tank to just you know like a basic everyday motorcycle tank uh, but we don't want any of that, do we? Obviously, we want to keep it unique. So we're going to stay stock for the fuel tank too. The bolt belt drive covers. I love the way that spins around at the bottom, man. It's just attention to detail on such a old game now. You still get that little attention to detail, and I love it. But anyway, we're going to go into the belt drive covers, and we are going to keep the belt drive um, exposed. We're not going to cover it up like this. So um, I, I think that takes quite a lot away from the the bike when you do that. It looks a lot better when you've got it exposed so we're just going to grab a quick cover um, to go over it I think these flame ones actually suit the bike quite nicely so we're going to go chrome um, for that so next we're going to go onto the engine obviously we're going to go to the engine block and purchase it all in chrome it's got to be done then we're going to the air filters no it's not the air filters engine tunes motherfuckers and then we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrades then we're going to go into the air filters and as you can see it does change on the side there was not a massive change for all of them you can't really see it especially when you'll be riding it but for the sake of the video let's get let's get the most expensive one why the fuck not so then we move on to the exhausts as you can see we've got the stock exhaust that's quite nice little compact so it's pretty cool if you want to keep the stock one but then also we've got other options you know not a massive fan of the double chop I'm, 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 you know I don't really like that one they're okay look a bit clumpy but these are my favourite, man. I really like the way that the uh, the pipes are wrapped, um, but also the stock ones are pretty cool too. But we are going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go with the drag pipes. So next, we're going to move on to the lights. Like I said at the beginning, the headlights are red as stock. So when you go on there, there you can see the stock headlights are red and they look cool. Uh, but then you can change it to the xenon lights, and it's kind of like that bluey tint to it. But we don't want none of that. We want to stay stock because. They're unique as hell, man. Why would you want to change the headlights to the, the Xeons? Because the red ones look awesome. But anyway, we're going to move on to the liveries. We've got loads of options for liveries. I'm not sure if we're going to grab one, to be honest. But um, I'll go quickly skip for them all. That American flag one looks pretty cool, man. But we'll go quickly skip for them all. Uh, so you get a rough idea of everything that we've got. I mean, the resolution isn't great on these, man. I know they're supposed to be worn, but... They look a bit ropey to me. So we're going to leave that st uh, stock as none. Because I don't think this bike needs a livery. Uh, next we're going to go to the respray. We've got the primary colour. I'm going to stay classic because I don't want to mix up the colours. Because when you go metallic, they obviously secondary and primary blend together. And this is the... Oh, this is the... Um, the main part of the bike, like the framework. I think in a... Uh, 
Red actually looks quite good. Gold looks good, but I haven't long locked it yet. What the fuck, man? I haven't unlocked it. That's not on. Man. That's not good. Uh, black also looks good. Black looks sweet as hell. Um, let's start. Let's, let's stay with black. Let's start with black and see see where this goes. Secondary classic and. Uh, Man, red looks pretty sweet. <laughs> that looks fucking intimidating. Uh, yeah, definitely looks intimidating. White looks good. I think red looks... That looks crazy good. But then the lights are red. The headlights are red, aren't they? So... Do we need that red also? I don't know, but it does look a lot better. I was thinking white initially. Because obviously it being a skull. White, you know. Chrome would look cool too, I think. Um... But I think I'm going to go red. I think I really like the red. Obviously not that red because I haven't unlocked that one either. Slacking on these colours, man. They need to be unlocked. But anyway, the just the normal red looks good. The Torino red is a little bright, I think. I might go Formula Red. Is there one a little bit darker? The Grace Red. Now that looks cool, man. Yeah, we're going to go Classic Grace Red for the secondary colour. So next we've got the transmission. I'm going to get the race transmission. Then we've got the turbo. I'm going to get the turbo tuning. And for the wheels... Um, not a massive fan of the wheels as, as they are at the moment mm, so I am going to change them, go front wheel, we're going to go chrome start at the bottom because that's where all the new ones are Sp nah, no we don't need more spider webs on there but the big spokes look pretty pretty sweet they look nice, I like them oh wow, they look amazing yeah man, I'm going to go with them uh, was it shuriken, Sh the shuriken rims I'm going to go with them for the front and also for the rear, so we're going to go chrome on the rear and we're going to go and get the shuriken rear wheel so next we're going to go to the tyres, we're going to go tyre enhancements, we're going to purchase the bulletproof tyres tyre design, what do we get for this, we get, well we do get the print that actually looks quite good man I don't mind the tyre print on the on the bikes but does it need it, does it add anything to it, I don't think it does so I'm going to skip past that, fuck the tyre smoke right off, I don't understand why you'd want coloured tyre smoke, it is weird and because my headlights have come on, I'm assuming it's now dark outside, and that's how my builds tend to go. <laughs> I build um, either on a motorcycle or I do a car build, and then when I come out of the garage, it is dark. So we're going to get a good look at this bike right now before I go outside and have a little drive. But like I said, man, th this bike is so unique. It looks awesome. And I think I've pre picked pretty good colours for it too. Black and red, can't go wrong with black and red, man. And... Um, them red headlights <laughs> just look sweet so anyway we're going to get onto the streets I'm just going to have a little drive around and see you know just try and get a little feel of how it performs so we go as we pull out of LS Customs like I predicted it is starting to get dark but you can still kind of see the Sanctus in its beauty it's starting to fade a little bit but them red headlights man look awesome we've already seen how good it looks on the inside and this has a lot a lot of torque I mean I'm just going to hit the accelerator right now like Look at that wheel spin, man. Look at that wheel spin. Holy shit. What about if we <laughs> hit the accelerator on a turn? So I'm turning the wheel. Hit the accelerator. Oh, it's just spinny, spinny. That's a lot of torque on this bike. Whoa, can't control it. And then can it pop a wheelie from, from the go? It can pop a wheelie from the go. So that's that gives you an indication of how powerful this Sanctus is. And as you can see, it is very, very quick for the type of bike that it is. As it being, you know, like a, uh, a bit of a chopper you can see exactly how powerful it is and you don't, you don't what we got uh, as its competitors like the Averis we've got we've got the zombie bobber you know and they're the sort of bikes that they're not going to be able to compete with this Sanctus in regards to uh, the performance because you, you can just see you can see how quick this bike is just for me driving it up the road and the the amount of torque this in this in this um, back wheel from from start I mean you can pop a wheelie from from dead look at that oh nearly come off the fucker and you can turn the wheel hold it straight down and your wheel's spinning all over the place and it's hard for it to catch it and there we go we're there we're off so yeah this this bike is pretty sweet man I mean it's expensive but it's unique it's quick it actually handles really really nicely and I'm overly impressed with it and hopefully Rockstar don't take it away I'm pretty sure that it's here to stay now because like I said at the beginning of the video originally Rockstar brought it out I believe it was last year holy motherfucker yeah they Rockstar brought it out last year but then they took it away shortly after Halloween had ended so um, now it's back 
I think it's here to stay. I hope it is. Um, but yeah, I'm overly impressed with it. I actually really, really do like the Sanctus, and um, I'm glad that Rockstar brought it back this year, and, um, and I managed to purchase it this time, because I didn't purchase it the, the last year. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a motherfucking like, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5, yeah, GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.